Hey, we have a lot going on in Cook's Corner this noontime. Joining me is Scott Willette from Canoe Restaurant. Oh, yeah. oh, steaks, oh steaks and, steaks, and, yep. and, and seafood and Obistro. And Obistro, exactly. Yep. We were just talking about Canoe last week. With, I was out with some girlfriends. People are very excited. You have opened a new establishment in Bedford. We have, yeah. We're in uh, the old Bugaboo Creek at the Lowe's and Target Shopping Center. And uh, we've been open for five weeks and recently just opened for lunch on Monday. So we're in our third day of lunch. So. The word is out. Have you been busy over there, Scott? We have been. It has been a great response. It's been it's been great. That's exciting. Uh, That's a homecoming for you, right? It is. I grew up in Bedford, so uh, Merrimack, Bedford area. So it's been a while since I've been back. So seen some old friends, and uh, it's great to see them. It's great to be here. Tell us what we're cooking up today. It's vegetarian. It looks. It like. It is vegetarian. Yes. So we've got our uh, roasted tomato, wild mushroom uh, ragu. So we basically char some tomatoes, uh, reduce some mushrooms here with some garlics and shallots, saute those up. And uh, we've got our uh, tomato ragu here. And we started sauteing this in our homemade truffle butter. Uh, one of our chefs, uh, Brooke, gets to make that a couple mm. times a week. So uh, sauteed mushrooms, add your ragu. We've actually, you know, uh, reduced that already. So a couple of questions here. You, you're putting in a full array of mushrooms. Yes. From sh shiitake to oyster. Creminis, portobellas, yeah, whatever you want. You can actually even use dried mushrooms. You can reconstitute those and use some dried mushroom, which adds a great earthy uh, flavor to them. So these all sort of bring a different texture and flavor to the, to absolutely, the dish, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. And a shortcut, if you don't want to char your tomatoes on your grill, buy a can of charred tomatoes uh, from the store. They work just as well. I was going to ask you about that. When you're charring the tomatoes, that's, you do that on the grill? We do that on the grill, yes, uh -huh. uh, in the restaurant. But uh, just for, you know, for easy, easy use at home, Buy the can of charred tomatoes um, in the can. They work just as well. Good advice. So, we got to yeah. squeeze in a little chat about taste sure. of the nation here. 27th yeah. year, you're taking part in this? We do. We have been taking part in that since uh, day one for us, which is 12 years now. Um, so 25 uh, vineyards from around the country, 50 restaurants from around the state participate and help raise uh, $900,000 just for the New Hampshire show alone. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, and I think it's about $75 million uh, nationwide. And 100% goes to local charities. It does, yeah. It benefits local charities. Um, New Hampshire Food Bank, uh, the Student Farm to Table. Um, New Hampshire Kids it, Count. Yeah, and the Boys and Girls Club, too. So It's April 15th, 6 to 9. It is, $50 yep. general admission. So you're adding in... Um, this is the uh, fresh Papardelli pasta now. Papardelli pasta. Yep. So I did say it right in you the did, break. You did, you did. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's that wide ribbon-like pasta. Do you it make is. that homemade in the restaurant? Uh, there? It is a fresh pasta that we get in from, uh, see, from a it. local company. So, and, uh, so we just get that, toss that around. Uh, you can add some pushed parsley, and we always will finish it with a little bit of our the uh, homemade truffle butter. Beautiful. Give that a toss. <laughs> around. That's a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Willett, congratulations on the opening of the new Thank you very restaurant. much. Appreciate it. First in the nation, you can get all the information on our website, and we will be right back.